All right. You know, now, hopefully I'm not too covered up. Well, I guess you didn't really come to see me anyway. You came to see the sneakers. And um, I'm in love with these shoes. They look like Air Force Ones. If you look at the kind of construction of it, the build and the shape of it, they look like Air Force Ones. But like I said, individually wrapped. Uh, I'm not going to get into UPC codes and stuff like that. Um, these are not being sold. So don't ask. These are my own personal pair. Hence the size. These joints are ginormous. But I'm actually going to move this paper over here. I don't even care about that aspect of it. Let's see. Let's move that. And I need to do some close-ups. But there's a lot going on with these joints, man. I'm going to turn them right there. And then let's get started. All right, so like I said, you got a silhouette that looks very similar to the, um, not very similar, not at all, all right? Anytime I see a toe box that looks like this, that's kind of got that shape to it, I'll say it looks like an Air Force One, but that's not, you know, necessarily the case. You do see a really thick um, crepe sole here. And then the welt going around the outside of the shoe, you, I mean, well, the welt that attaches the upper to the midsole. You can get these repaired if you like. They probably won't wear out for years. You don't even have to worry about that kind of stuff. Um, let's pull this thing apart. Paper on both of them. Uh, it comes with uh, two sets of shoe strings, which you can see over here on this side. But it also has the hang tag for Clark's Originals. And then the walking, hiking man, hang tag as well. All right, so I'm going to read this label to you guys. It says FSC certified natural rubber crepe sole. The rubber sole of this shoe has been sourced from well-managed forest stewardship council certified forest. And that's important because I've begun to buy shoes that are sustainably sourced. I'm not trying to buy a lot of different things, man, that are just going to damage the environment. I mean, I keep my shoes pretty much forever. They don't wear out because I have enough of them that I wear a lot of different shoes all the time. And um, I don't throw a lot of shoes away into the landfill. I stopped making shoes because of that reason. When I had my own brand, I thought it was dope. But now I look back on it and I realize it was really indulgent. And it wasn't dope. It was just a, a vanity project. Um, I didn't have the resources to turn it into something much bigger. So it was it basically was a vanity project. Now I'm pulling these shoe inserts or the just the paper that keeps the shape of the shoe. I'm pulling this out because I want you guys to get a look at the insoles, which you can put together, and the same thing that you see. Well, I'm going to show you the bottom first, where you have Clark's originals. But what I want you to see here is you put it together and you get the logo that's on the side of the shoe, which, you know, it's the Clarks. It's actually, you can't even put them together. It's the exact same thing. I'm bugging. It's the exact same thing that's on the footbed on this insole. So an insole is not very thick, but it doesn't have to be because the cushion and the crepe sole itself is where all of the kind of bounce that the shoe has is found. I absolutely love this shoe. I'm probably going to buy it in every color, but this is the first one that I've gotten. And like I said, it's the Sanford or from the A Street collection by Runny Fight, who is, as you guys know, the guy that runs Kith and is legendary for all of the different collabs that he does. This is one that when I saw it, I kind of knew I had to have it. And it took me a minute to get these, but his site restocked, and I was able to catch the restock and get this size 13. I'm probably going to go with these white laces, these brown and white rope laces, but I want to move the shoe, move the camera up so you can get a close-up look at it, and then I'll do an on-foot, even though I'm definitely not dressed for it, and I'm, uh, I actually got on a gang of different colors because it was cool today, and I had a bunch of layers on, and uh, yeah. But I will do it on foot just so you can get a look at it and see what it looks like on foot. And that's rare for me. But I told you, anytime I'm doing it on foot, it's probably going to be for a shoe that I'm 
keeping forever. It's not going to be for all of those different shoes that I sell on the online shop. So um, here's your own foot video, but here's your close up first and then an on foot. One second. All right, as I told you guys, you got your two hang tags, which I'm definitely going to leave those on, even though it's kind of cheesy to leave the hang tags on. But you also see that FSC certified natural rubber crepe sole tag. That's not going to stay on here. And you see these rope laces that are attached. But let me move this up a bit closer so you can see the logo that's embossed or debossed into the leather. And then on the tongue, you have Clark's Originals but you have a perforated toe box, but not so much. You can really get away with wearing these in wintertime. And that's kind of why I bought them, to replace Tim's. You know, you can see the sectioning inside of the crepe sole right here. And there goes to Hill, where you have the hiking, walking man logo from Clark's. And I guess I'll do the medial real quick, where you can see the medial of the left. But let me jump to the on foot because I'm sure you guys are like, yo, what do those look like on foot, man? I'm not going to tie them up. I'm going to put them on and uh, just kind of let it ride right there. One second for that on foot. All right, so I'm wearing my car hoops today, man. I, like I said, I did not really prepare to do an on foot kind of look. But yeah. I'm still going to do that anyway, but let me get these car hooves off. These are the Trampas. If you guys haven't seen the on foot for this, you can go to that video, but let's get these off. And what I do is I like to call, you know, shoes like these, I call these a these are like grown man status, you know. I'm at a point now, man, where I'm not really trying to flex on somebody with a pair of Jordans. These shoes retail for two twenty, and that's not me saying that. Just trying to make it sound like yo, I paid a lot of money for these joints. I did pay a lot of money for them. Two twenty is a lot, man. It's like buying a retro, right? But just gonna cross these up so I can keep the string out of the way before I you know, stand up, put these on so you can get a look at them and see what they look like standing up. But, super soft, man. Super soft. Size 13, got more than enough room at the toe. Got more than enough room here on the sides. It gives me that kind of Air Force One look without me actually having to buy a pair of Air Force Ones, which in all honesty, the materials are a little bit stiffer. So wearing the Air Force Ones is not something that, you know, I don't rock them like that. But I'm just going to do this quick tie up. Hold up. I'm trying to do it so I don't cover up too much stuff in the shoe. And of course, I'm not going to leave these shoestrings on here when I start wearing them. But here we go. Just trying to make sure you guys get a look at these joints on foot. Definitely feel great. They also make me feel taller, which I don't really need because, you know, I'm tall enough as it is. But talking about a really nice, nice shoe, man. Definitely a nice shoe. You know, so, and I won't worry about trying to show you guys like the whole outfit or something like that because I'm not dressed appropriately today, man. <laughs> I'm dressed for warmth, not for like style. But that's it. I hope you guys like that video. It's a little bit different than usual because like I said, I don't do a lot of on foot videos. Because um, I've kind of slowed down in buying a lot of sne uh, sneakers for myself. But that's it. For the Clark's Originals. Let me throw that box right there for the Sanford A Street Collection running fight. And boom. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.